In this film we're looking at the basic uh, artboard feature in Photoshop. So at first glance here we're looking at a document with multiple layers and the only real way to actually uh, see what's different about this photograph at first glance in fact is if we just zoom back and then at the top of the actual panel here you can see we've got the words artboard and what this feature is it's basically a easier way to actually create a multiple page document especially if you're looking to create PDFs in the likes of Photoshop so um, this is an example here of um, one of my priceless uh, apps um, so it basically has multiple pay pages all with text all with colors and at first glance as I said if I just zoomed in close to it all we'd be basically seeing is a kind of a normal layer and so on with text on um, however when we start to identify the features within it it opens up and you can start start to see the artboard is actually standalone so first things first is how do we create an artboard so to do that you go into file new and let's say we were creating one for an iPhone 8 plus as a, a basically an app graphic and for me that is I believe it's 1242 in width and 228 in pixel and what you've got to make sure that you have is this checkerboard here clicked on so this is the artboard checkerboard and then you press create and then straight away on screen you can see that you've got a document uh, in the form of an artboard here. Now if I simply uh, click onto the top of the artboard name you might have saw at the top of the tools palette here, let's drag the tools palette in, but in the top of the tools palette you have the option here so it's usually the move tool but there's the artboard uh, tool here. Now I believe it was in about 2015 that the artboard feature came into pho Photoshop and, and even I don't really use it much. I, I was introduced to it by one of my graphic designers and uh, kind of they went okay this is the way that we're going to be creating stuff for you so you can go in and edit yourself if that's what you want to do instead of, instead of going into the likes of uh, id design or illustrator. In exactly the same way though I can now um, drag products or photographs into the um, uh, document as normal so I can still grab my logo I could go and grab um, images as I'm dragging them in from one screen on to here basically it brings them in as a smart object anyway uh, as far as the uh, size is concerned obviously in the same way in Photoshop we know that we can just actually hold the corner edges and uh, that resizes uh, things here so what 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 we've got is the basics of a kind of a, a, a design element going through but in fact I'm using it more like a um, a photographer uses Photoshop than a graphic designer and so on. So if I want to create that second page, if I click back up onto the artboard um, uh, heading here, if I just click on the plus now, did you see as I kind of clicked onto that, these little pluses come around, so it can either be above it, below it, or left or right. If I click on the left hand side, it duplicates the size of the artboard again, and once more I can just go in and actually drag in a, an image, um, finishing it whatever I want to I can go ahead and actually add um, text in let me just uh, put some white text in here and boys to men so you can see by clicking onto the art board once more I can click onto the plus and it comes up I can even on this art artboard here, if I click on the uh, group and I just do Control J, it will completely duplicate that one layer. So in other words, you can see now it's a copy. If I just go into um, the image itself, just clicking onto the smart object here, right click it, uh, replace contents, and just go and choose um, MC22. D -d -d. I'm just looking off on the side side here for a, a vertical image a minute. Um, uh, 
you can see that it changes it in the same same way. So if you're using, remember these images are smart ob uh, smart objects. So basically, you want to make sure that if you are adding du duplicate layers in, you're not creating that problem. So we just can control Z on that and. All, all I've got to do here, um, the quick way for me, it would be to, uh, I can't replace the contents because that would actually replace both of those and things really. So I can either delete that image straight away, which it's done, and then all I've got to do is go and grab my image and drag it on again. So for me, that's the kind of the quickest, especially if I'm duplicating boards. And just realigning the layers so that... Um, So just realigning the layers uh, so that it all makes sense to you. And so you can kind of look. So you can see in a very short kind of couple of minutes how we'll be able to actually create a quite a funky kind of looking um, almost app based brochure, uh, brochure just based on the art, art boards itself. So uh, again, either you can duplicate it by clicking onto the art board uh, that you want. In other words, as soon as I click on the artboard 2 at the top here, and if I hit the control J, it duplicates it. Or I can select on the plus mode, and that will actually create a new artboard. Or, as long as I've got the um, artboard tool here, I can actually go in and now create e even a different size board within it. So I don't have to actually keep to the same artboard size all the time, but um, Again, that's really down to, I can't think of a reason why you would do that and so on, but it, the option is there. So that is the basics of artboards and how you can use it to create a bit of a brochure for yourself. So let's quickly finish off this artboard and then I'll show you how to export it as a PDF or for files. So uh, again, once more, all I'm going to do is actually just uh, delete that copy of that smart object there. It's a little bit slower for me to work with. Just go off screen, drag in another image. Um, if I don't need the text layer, I can just select it as I would normally do in a layered document. But to go to the next art artboard, I usually just click onto the artboard head in on the top. Let's just do a few more so you can see how quickly we can actually create the artboard now. Selecting onto the uh, artboard itself, then going ahead, actually um, just grabbing as many images as you want so you can see how quick this would be to create yourself uh, a bit of a funky portfolio um, okay so what I didn't do there was select the different artboard so now it's actually when I've dragged it in it thinks I still want to add it to that artboard itself just press escape that'll get rid of it select on the artboard again go ahead and drag on the image once more Click on to the next artboard. And remember, an, an artboard is basically just a group of layers on that uh, part. So uh, as I showed you in that um, price list kind of layout, we can do exactly what we want whenever we want to it. So in other words, we can apply anything um, to the one artboard or to many in duplication we can still have multiple uh, images on the document we can still add text into it um, I, I tend to actually work in in this way where as I said I'm dragging kind of images um, from one other document onto here so I've just got a portfolio um, folder open here and I'm literally just dragging in the images same way of course if I want uh, to kind of hide one image behind others let's put that one on top there cool um, yes yeah, pretty good so we'd obviously save this image anyway so let's just file save as and then we would save this obviously as still a PSD doc a document so this would be teen artboard or portfolio or whatever you want to do with it pressing save um, notice though that you know the file does get bigger and bigger so obviously start with the right size resolution to begin with now to out output this I can either output them all as different files 
um, by going up into file and into the export or I can actually uh, so there's the different artboards the files or I can artboards the PDF the conversion it's got to work on each layer of time so it does take a little bit more time obviously to create uh, create it but that is the simple way that we uh, use the artboard facility within Photoshop to create ourselves a little bit of a portfolio document have fun with it